In this video about ozone therapy, we're actually going to talk about using ozone in joints. And this is, once again, as a conventional doctor, the idea of injecting a gas into someone's joint or soft tissue is absolutely crazy. But the benefits of ozone in, into the joints uh, or soft tissue or whatever it may be that ails you as far as musculoskeletal injuries is absolutely fantastic. And it's such a cheap, easy therapy that we should be doing more of it. Uh, PRP is wonderful. Stem cells are wonderful. Ozone is the cheapest version of prolotherapy, basically, because it's a gas and easily created. It's fairly harmless. It's fairly forgivable. So it's easy to do if any practitioners are learning to do it. So as far as ozone for joints, this is actually pretty easy to do. The gas, literally, the syringe is very um, innocuous looking because we hook it up to our oxygen generator, as you saw in my previous video. And when we bring the syringe to the patient, it is literally just 20 cc's of gas. There's no fluid. There's no nothing. There's nothing in it. It's just oxygen and ozone combined. Ozone is actually heavy, so it's more at the bottom of the syringe. And what we do is, I, I left the needle off so people wouldn't get scared, but the idea is whether we're injecting into a joint or back or, um, or, or any kind of soft tissue, tendonitis, anything, we inject this gas into it. And the gas actually disperses into the fascia, the soft tissue, and it in, exerts all of its same healing potentials of IV ozone, as I talked about in my other videos, but it actually stimulates the, the reparative healing process. And whether we understand it all doesn't really matter, but it definitely works. So it is literally the gas is injected into any soft or hard tissue. So if you have disc issues in your back, we actually inject it into the paraspinal muscles on either side of your spine. We don't inject it directly into it. The other thing we do with this, the gas injections, is we actually use um, what are called trigger points, as you've probably heard of trigger points. And the idea behind trigger points is that you may have pain around the eye, but that's not necessarily where we need to inject. We would actually inject in the sternocleidoid mastoid area in order to benefit the area of pain. Just because you feel the pain in one place does not mean that's where the, the source is. Same thing for this diagram. And if you have pain here in the elbow or pain in the fingertips, the actual area of injection is around the, the brachioradialis muscle here. And so based on your area of pain, we can use diagrams to decide where is the most effective place to inject you. It may not be into the source of the pain. So for instance, with spine issues, your spine may be the thing that's hurting. You may have disc issues. But if we inject inside the paraspinal muscles, which run alongside the spine, you can actually get regeneration of the muscles and fascia, which will also help regenerate the spine. When you're doing ozone injections, you can actually mix the ozone, or you don't necessarily mix it, but you can do a vitamin mixture inside the joint or inside the tissue before you inject with the ozone. It's the same needle. You stick the needle, you inject the vitamins, and then you take the ozone gas and inject it into the same spot beforehand. It's supposed to, it can elicit a more powerful reaction of better healing. You can also add ozone to PRP, so they call that prolozone, when you mix PRP and ozone to enhance the effects of PRP. If you don't know what PRP is, you need to go look up that video. I'm not going to discuss it here. Um, it's been studied to reduce chronic back pain, arthritis pain, all kinds of stuff. It's cheap and easy. There's minimal risk to it. So I usually encourage all patients, before you go do the joint replacement or even the ortho surgery, try some ozone, try some PRP. And if it magically works, then you just avoid an, an expensive surgery um, that might have lifelong consequences of scar tissue and damage. And if this doesn't work, harm the biggest harm is that you paid for something that didn't necessarily work. Um, you can also do ultrasound guided injections with ozone and vitamin mixtures and PRP. So that's an added benefit if you can get exactly in the spot. A lot of um, places that, that use or a, a lot of injections with ozone, you don't have to be perfectly precise. So it's nice to do the ultrasound guided, but if your practitioner or someone is not doing ultrasound guided, they can still get it pretty close to the area and the ozone disperses. And, and so it's, it's kind of like a hand grenade situation. You don't have to have the exact sniper shot. You just got to get it close to the area. And that's it on ozone joint injection. So if you're having pain in the knees, elbows, wherever it may be, look up a provider to see if they do ozone injections and try them out. It usually takes a few injections to really get the benefit, sometimes five or more, but it's something that's pretty easy tolerated and low risk. So try it out. That concludes my series of ozone. Uh, I might do more videos in the future, but as far as this series is, it concludes it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos, like it, share it, tell a friend.